hope you're all well. Today we are going to be doing my April TBR. Now, I am away for a couple of weeks in April, so some of these are going to be holiday reads and then one or two of them will be for when after I get back. I haven't, this isn't 100% my TBR. There is a challenge that I'm doing once I get back from my holiday, um, which is part of my 48 hour patron readathon, the F1 readathon. So there is a challenge tied in with that, which will host the majority of my reads, to be honest, for the month. But I'm really excited about it and I want to kind of keep it close to the chest for the time being. But I am very excited about that. I won't be putting books for that on this TBR because I'll make a decision on those once I get back. Uh, but otherwise, these are going to be like holiday reads and then a couple for when I get home. So uh, we are going to start off with the patron part. If you didn't know, um, drivers and above patrons. So my drivers, my team principals get to put a book in this pot and... Uh, I will pick from it every month. So I'm very excited to pick for this month. There is a lot in here and I don't know what we're going to get. There's quite a few chunky books in here. There's some manga in here. So here's me trying to <laughs> manifest some manga maybe. I would prefer not to have a chunky book to be perfectly honest because um, uh, just timing really will not work. <laughs> that will not work out for me. Oh, I've got a couple. Hang on. Let's do this one. Um, <coughs> so let's find out what we have. Is this, I feel like that's upside down. Wait, is that Gavin's? <gasps> Cherry Magic. That's a manga. Success. Oh my God, I can't believe I just manifested that. Right, let me get it. Okay, so we have Cherry Magic, Volume 1. 30 years of virginity can make you a wizard. I'm so excited about this one. Gav's been banging on about it for a while. So I'm very excited that we've managed to get a manga on here. It's complicated. After hitting the big 3-0 while still a virgin, office drone Adachi discovers he can use magic. But this troublesome new skill, like Adachi himself, is fairly unremarkable. It allows him to read the minds of whomever he touches. One day when he accidentally works his magic on... Kurosawa, he, his very competent, handsome colleague, Adachi, discovers Kurosawa has a raging crush on none other than Adachi himself. With zero romantic experience to fall back on, will Kurosawa, will Kurosawa's burning passion send Adachi running for the hills? That sounds very exciting. I am here for that. I like the art style of this as well. Um, so yay, first book on here is a manga. Shout out to Gav for this much appreciated um then we do have the book that i picked in the scavenger hunt to pick a book for my vacay and it is a short one and i'm very hyped about that it's also a horror and i'm hyped about that as well and it is come closer by sarah gran so this one says there was no reason to assume anything out of the ordinary was going on strange noises in the apartment impulsive behavior intense dreams it wasn't like everything went wrong all at once Shoplifting, fighting, blackouts. There must be a reason, no little explanation for all of this. I'm excited for this one. I think if I remember correctly, Gav really enjoyed this one. Sometimes I get confused between this one and Confessions, which I read Confessions when I went to Dominican Republic. So I do quite like to take like a horror novella with me. And I really enjoyed Confessions. So yeah, I'm fairly certain he's read this one and really enjoyed it. I'm sure that's the reason why I ended up buying it, to be honest, but it was a few years ago now. So that is essentially two from Gav on my TBR. Uh, so that is the next book going on my TBR and that will be a holiday book coming with me. Another one coming with me on holiday is The Sleepwalkers by Scarlett Thomas. This is another horror as far as I'm aware. And this one comes out on the 11th of April. So it's while I'm away. So I'm hoping to get like a picture of it while I'm away and stuff on holiday. Um, and I'm intrigued by this one. Thank you to Simon and Schuster for sending me an arc of this. Uh, exhilarating, suspenseful and subversively funny. The Sleepwalkers ask urgent questions about relationships, sexuality and the darkest elements of contemporary society. Where our most terrible secrets are hidden in plain sight sounds interesting we'll find out whether or not this is the sort of thing that's up my street but i am intrigued by it why the chapter's so long what is the need why 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 are the chapters so long are the chapters in this what 
I don't think there's any chapters. Is that some kind of sick joke? That is one day. 110 pages is one day. September 23rd, 2022. September 24th, 2021. What? Anyway. I'm gonna see how this goes. <laughs> The Sleepwalkers by Scarlett Thomas. Uh, another book I would really like to get to in April because I didn't get a chance to get to it in March and I really would, I really do want to read it. It's Tutoring the Player by Rebecca Jenshack, which is a hockey romance. He is very much a bad boy and she is very much a bit of a nerdy girl and she ends up tutoring him and falling for him. It gives off very much Naily vibes from One Tree Hill. If you're a One Tree Hill fan, this may be up your street and I'm really looking forward to it. Sounds great. I'm sad I haven't had a chance to get to it in March, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Then another book I would really like to try and get to in April, whether or not I manage it, I don't know, but I just want to put it on here anyway because it's on my mind and I really do want to try and get to it. I am tempted to take this one on holiday as well. Is Mina and the Slayers by Amy McCaw. I've just finished Mina and the Undead and absolutely loved it. It was fantastic, gave it five stars and I had a really good time with it. Uh, this one does follow Mina. I don't know what this, who this one specifically follows. I'm assuming it's Mina and her sister still. But in the first one, Mina does go to New Orleans so a year prior Mina and Libby's mum disappeared she just left them and disappeared and left them with their aunt her aunt well Libby then moved to New Orleans for college and her aunt then went away a few months later up traveling the world and Mina decided that she was going to go and spend the summer in New Orleans with her sister Libby Libby works in a haunted mansion and well it's deemed a haunted mansion it's kind of done as a setup in New Orleans to be a haunted mansion and she kind of shows Libby the ropes a little bit at that place however one day Mina ends up coming across a dead body and things just kind of go from there uh it's really really good very atmospheric I love the atmosphere of this of Mina and the undead and I'm really excited to continue on with this series and see what happens next it is set in 1995 so it's got like pop culture references and I just really enjoy the vibes of it. So I do want to continue on with this series. This one is quite a bit longer at 404 pages. So but I'm very excited and I am getting a copy of the third one as well quite early because uh, Amy's going to send me a copy which is so lovely of her. So I'm very excited for that as well. Uh, so I did want to put this one on here. Whether or not I actually get to it, I don't know. But I have hopes. <laughs> and that's all we can ask for. And then the last physical book that I have to put on my April TBR is A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. This is my Patreon buddy read for March and April. And I will be trying to get to this one towards the end of April so that it's fresh in my mind for the live show at the beginning of May. So hopefully I will actually manage to complete that task and uh, get to it. I don't know the full ins and outs of this, but I think it's like a romanticy although i'm not sure enchantment runs deep on the magical isle of cadence girls start to go missing adara heiress of the east knows the spirits only answer to a bard's music enticing them to return the missing girls but there's only one bard capable of drawing the strings forth by song her childhood enemy jack tamer lane tamer lane he hasn't stepped foot on Cadence in 10 long years, content to study music at the mainland university, but as Jack and Ed Adera reluctantly work together, it becomes apparent the trouble with the spirits is far more sinister than, than at first thought, and an older, darker secret lurks beneath the surface, threatening to undo them all. It sounds really interesting, and Kath and Caitlin have been shouting at me to read this one for a while. They even shouted at me to buy the second one in the series, uh, Fire Endless, so... To, from fairy loot to make sure i got the matching editions because they know they reckon i'm gonna love this so fingers crossed that is the case so that one is my patreon buddy read and then i do have a couple of arcs on my kindle from netgalley that i would like to get to as well so i'm just going to look up the synopsis of these so i can tell you about them so the first one is the family experiment by john mars and this comes out on may 9th whether or not i actually get to these while i'm on holiday i don't know but i'm taking my kindle with me i will download them on my kindle so there are there are options if i want to get to them it, the Family Experiment is a dark, twisted thriller about the ultimate Tamagotchi, a virtual baby. So I think we're in a world in which you can take on a virtual baby 
and the baby will go from being a baby to 18 years old within a nine month period I think and if the kid is still alive and doing okay uh, you get to keep it it's a, t a reality TV show it followed tel 10 couples as they raise a virtual child from birth to the age of 18 but in a condensed nine month pit time period the prize the right to keep their virtual child or risk it all for a chance of a real baby sounds bizarre um but sounds interesting i haven't read from john mars before so this should be interesting for me then i also have think twice by harlan coben which comes out on 23rd of may i haven't read anything from harlan coben before but i have watched a few of the tv series that have been made off of the books so this should be a interesting one how can a man who's already dead be wanted for murder secrets lies and murderous conspiracy that scratches uh, sorry that stretches back into the past lie at the heart of harlan coben's blistering new thriller interesting love me a good thriller i you know i love to binge a thriller in a day how much reading i actually managed to get done on holiday is another matter but a girl can dream right then we have an F1 romance called Cross the Line by Simone Soltana and this one comes out also on the 23rd of May, same time as Harlan Coburn's. This one says, for fans of Hannah Grace and Lauren Asher, Cross the Line by Simone Soltana is an unmissable, sweet and spicy brother's best friend F1 romance. Um, I love brother's best friend. Sounds great. I am very excited for that one. The cover of it is so adorable. So I'm very hyped for that as well. So those are three arcs that I have um on my kindle and then obviously we have the sleepwalkers as well in physical format um but yeah that is pretty much my tbr so the three that i've mentioned on my kindle and then this lot as well cherry magic was pulled from gav from my patreon pot come closer was the scavenger hunt we have the sleepwalkers which is the arc we've got cheer in the player by rebecca jenshack mina and the slayers by amy mccaw and a river enchanted by rebecca ross plus the three i've just mentioned to you as well so whether or not i actually get to all of these i'm not sure we will see uh but a girl can dream right <laughs> I think the ones that I will specifically take on holiday with me, uh, Come Close is definitely coming on holiday because that was the whole point. I'll take the Sleepwalkers on holiday. I don't know if I will get through it all or not, but I do already have the audiobook saved on BookBeat. Um, so if I don't get to it before it comes out on the 11th of April, I can listen to the audiobook. Speaking of BookBeat, I actually have a code for you if you're interested in getting 60 days free with BookBeat. They are an audiobook app. And as standard, they will give you 30 days, a uh, 30 day free trial when you sign up. But if you use my link, I will leave it in the description box down below. It is an affiliate link. I will earn some commission off this to be very transparent with you. But it actually gets you 60 days free uh, trial. So with no commitment at the end either. So you will get 20 hours free for each 30 day period so 40 hours free in total and they have such a wide array of audiobooks so many of them are popular as well i listened to empire of the vampire on book b i listened to divine rivals on book b i've listened to so many of my romances and like i say the sleepwalkers is gonna be on book beat once it's released it's already up there i will be listening to a river enchanted on book beat because that is also on there so they have such a wide variety of them and they have three subscription options so if you come to the end of your 60 day free trial with them and you want to continue with them they have the standard one for i think it's 20 hours a month for 5.99 um they have the next one up which i think is 9.99 a month and you get 50 hours and then the biggest one which is the one that i'm on is 14.99 a month for 100 hours and they never restrict your books either unlike some other audiobook apps they don't restrict your books they don't take books off of you um obviously once you run out of hours for the month that will be it but i have never reached my 100 hour limit on book b <laughs> um i'm probably on the, the, the too high one to be honest but it is what it is so if you're interested in getting 60 days free with book b i will leave the link in the description box down below feel free to go and check it out um it is an affiliate affiliate link so like i say i earn just a little bit of commission off it if you wanted to uh check it out but feel free to have a butchers if you wanted to you're more than welcome to have a look um but yeah 
so I will take this with me but if I don't get to it before it's release day physically reading it I will listen to the audiobook while I'm on holiday and then I really want to take Mina with me I don't know if I take both of these I'm not sure because I will have my Kindle as well so I may take all four of these we'll see um it doesn't look like share the light it doesn't look like too much really when you put it like that but we'll see what happens but yeah that is pretty much my tbr for april i haven't pulled the cards this time because i didn't need to have complications <laughs> this month uh, but we'll get back to those in may but chat to me in the comments down below what are you putting on your april tbr what kind of books do you tend to take with you when you're going on holidays or anything specific you tend to take um chat to me in the comments down below are you taking part in any readathon readathons i hope you have enjoyed this video and i shall see you in whatever comes next bye for now mm -hmm.